we are aware that we can look for life in other places, other places in our solar system, and of course, on the exoplanets around other stars. And uh, within 10 or 20 years, I think two things could happen, which would be really, really important. We might, with the next big telescope, be able to image some of the Earth-like planets around other stars. Image, like uh, get a picture? Well, well I, actually, let me caveat that. It takes 50 years to get a resolved image, but, <laughs> but, but, but to actually detect the light. Because now, now of course, the, these exoplanets are detected by their effect on the parent star. They either cause the, their parent star to dim slightly when they transit across in front of it, and so we see the dips, or uh, their gravitational pull makes the star wobble a bit. So, so most of the, the 5,000 plus planets that have been found around other stars, they've been found indirectly by their effect Yes, in one of those two ways on the parent star. You could still star. do a pretty good job of estimating size, yeah. all those kinds of size things. And the size and the mass, you can estimate. Nice. Um, but but, uh, um, but, but de detecting the, the actual light from one of these exoplanets hasn't really been done yet, except in one or two very... Very, very bright big planets. So maybe um, like James Webb Telescope would be. Well, able. James Webb may do this, but even better will be um, the European ground-based telescope called unimaginatively the Extremely Large Telescope, which has a 39-meter <laughs> diameter mirror. 39 meters, a yeah. mosaic of 800 sheets of glass, and that will collect enough light from one of these exoplanets around a nearby star um, to be able to... Um, separate out its light from that of the star, which is a millions of times brighter, and get the spectrum of the planet mm -hmm. and see if it's got uh, oxygen or chlorophyll and things in it. Uh, so that, that, that will come. Um, J James Webb may, may make some, some steps there. Um, but uh, I think we can look forward to learning qu quite a bit um, in the next 20 years, because I, I like to say, um, supposing that the aliens looking at the solar system, then they'd see the sun as an ordinary star. They'd see the Earth as, in Carl Sagan's nice phrase, a pale blue dot lying very close in the sky to its star, our sun, and much, much, much fainter. But if they could observe that dot, they could learn quite a bit. They could perhaps get the spectrum of the light and find the atmosphere. They'd find the shade of blue was slightly different, depending on whether the Pacific Ocean or the land mass of Asia was facing them, so they could infer the length of the day and the two oceans and continents, and maybe something about the seasons and the climate. And uh, that's the kind of calculation, calculation and, and uh, inference we might be able to draw within the next 10 or 20 years about other exoplanets and, um, uh, and evidence of some sort of biosphere on one of them would, of course, be crucial, and it would rule out the... Uh, still logical possibility that life is unique. But there's another way in which this may happen in the next 20 years. People think there could be something swimming under the ice of uh, Europa and Enceladus, and probes are being sent to maybe not quite go under the ice, but detect the spray coming, coming out to see if there's evidence for organics in that. And if we found any evidence for an origin of life that had happened in either of those places, that would immediately be important because if life has originated twice independently in one planetary system, the solar system, that would tell us straight away it wasn't a rare accident and must have happened billions of times in the galaxy. At the moment, we can't rule out it being unique. And incidentally, if we found life on Mars, then that would still be ambiguous because uh, um, people have realized that this early life could have got from Mars to Earth or vice versa on yeah. meteorites. So um, if you found life on Mars, then some skeptics could still say if it's a single origin. Um, but I think... But Europa is far enough. That's far enough away. Statistically yeah, yeah. because... Yes, so, so, so that's why that would be especially... It's always the standard. skeptics that yeah. ruin a good party. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but we the, need them, of course. We need them at the party. We need some skeptics yeah, yeah. at the party. Yeah. Um, but the, boy, would that be so exciting to find life <laughs> mm. on one of the moons. Yeah, Because yeah. it means of course, uh, that life that's is everywhere. The, that'll just be any kind of vegetation or life. Um, the question of the um, aliens of science fiction is a different matter.